This is a journey. This is an adventure and a struggle. Some parts I think are working. It's not where I started. You might remember, can start with a kind of pale, soft painting. Well, it's not a pale, soft painting anymore. It's got a lot of paint on it. It's got a lot of things happening. I just have to walk away for a while and see whether I can finish it. Well, here's a finished painting. I've been on it for quite a while. I was always very happy with the bottom part of it. And uh, that, I was just not happy with the top. And I repainted the top quite a few times until I kind of got it right. Um, it's a reasonably big painting, uh, five feet by four feet in old. So I'll take it up into the house soon and it can sit up there for a while and I'll look at it and you know, hopefully, hopefully that's it. Here's another one I finished this morning. Oh gosh, I've been on this one off and on for weeks, but I finally got this working well. In the end, I just had to put more little bits of interest in the top to it. It's, you know, my continuing love of paintings about uh, being under, underwater and snorkeling and not literally painting what's there, but painting the feeling of what's there so that I can, um, I can simply be inspired by nature. You can't be better than nature. I try to use it as a, as a stepping off point. To make a painting. Oh, I think that's I think that's finished, although filming it now, I reckon my that little pink fish and that little pink fish needs a couple of little tiny marks on it. Yeah, that's enough. That's good. Starting a new picture. Uh, I've just put down a very, very soft piece of um, very pale sort of turquoisey green because I think this is going to be a reef painting. And I just get a towel and I'm just softening the colour even more because you know sometimes when you're snorkeling the great thing is when the water is so clear and so clean so that's what this picture hopefully will be about well there you are uh, I think it's finished I haven't signed it yet but I think it's finished, and look, it only took, um, it only took 75 years. It only took 75 years to do that. Oh, there's some lovely parts in it. I really like this. Something that you can continue to find things in, and look, even a little mark like that ultramarine blue put it down very fast and it's moved and softened a little bit, but how lovely is that? You've got to work quite fast to make some of these marks. Some of them, I just squeezed the paint out of the tube. Others, I picked up a brush and made it rather wet so that it, so that it softens a little bit. Some I've rubbed the paint into the canvas and let the other part of it stay solid. Other parts of it are wet and loose over a bit of soft drawing. And obviously, you know, little accidental parts happen. Well, 
if they're in the right place and if you like them and if you can control them, then that's good. Not signed, but I think it's finished. Now here are two words called rising tide. Uh, for these kinds of pictures, you really have to work very fast. I put down a very soft background, then uh, let some of the paint run a little bit. You've got to control it in some areas. Then some kind of paint direct out of the tube. Um, sometimes a bit of drawing sometimes a bit of accident and then the whole thing the feeling of underwater and being on a rising tide and here's the other one uh, again a bit of drawing allowing the paint to run a little bit um, quite pretty i think quite quite beautiful so here's a new painting, very soft, um, a bit of a departure for me. I was smacking the paint around, but I just decided to do this picture of, uh, of the lawn and the, um, and the uh, lavender and the pink tree in a very kind of watercolory way, even though it's oil. It's, uh, it's oil painted very thin and very soft. So I think it's important sometimes that you try something new, that you go up a different kind of track. So that's a painting called uh, Soft Morning because that's what it was. It was a very soft morning. And this picture, done maybe a week ago. It went through a few stages and then I just started to put down some really interesting or nice colors. Put myself in the corner, just looking at some nice colors. And in fact, that's what it's called. Just looking at some nice colors which is something, something that I like to do. So thanks for watching all these little videos. It's been great fun making them. And uh, I'm really touched by so many of the comments. Thank you very much. Also, I'm really impressed by the work that, uh, that you all do. It's encouraging, I think, to see so many people who like to make beautiful paintings. So the lockdown's just about finished, um, but I guess our love of art will just continue on. So stay safe and keep painting.